Let's go next to our caller from the 860 area code. Who's calling today from 860? Hey, David. This is Anthony. Hey, Anthony. What's going calling on? Calling from uh, Connecticut. Yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of going to argue the inverse of what, uh, what was his name, Carlos just said? Enrique, yeah. Enrique. Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, you know, progressives, we hear a lot that we need to set aside our differences and just vote party lines. And uh, you don't really hear that being pushed on the establishment. There's this kind of animosity towards the new progressives. And, uh, you know, I was just wondering uh, what your thoughts on that were, how we could combat that kind of mentality. Well, that, listen, uh, Anthony, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think there's an argument to be made that there's a portion of the establishment just as much as there's a portion of the progressive wing of the left that is a my way or the highway uh, sort of uh, wing. So we looked at some data earlier this week from the 2016 election, which looks at uh, how many Bernie primary voters ultimately voted for Trump. And it looks like it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 percent. That's crazy to me. OK, now some of those people got in touch with me and they said I did it because I was furious with the DNC. I did it because I actually want to uh, break everything down so that we can build it back up. But 10 to 12 percent of I was a Bernie supporter in the primary. Right. There was no way right. I was going to misunderstand that Trump and Hillary were not the same just because Bernie wasn't in there in, in the same way. I think that there is a uh, contingent uh, of uh, centrists, as you point out, who also would be unsure what to do if a quote real progressive and we don't have to debate what that is, wins the Democratic primary. I think this is a problem both in the center and to the left of the party. I don't think it's uniquely one or the other. Yeah, I agree. I just feel like a lot of it is uh, centered on the progressive side of things. We don't really hear people talking to Pelosi, let's say, about uh, how she should support Ilhan Omar. They just kind of I heard a lot of that. Like. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what websites you look at, but I, I was seeing a lot of anger with Nancy Pelosi um, around that time. I've seen anger with Nancy Pelosi around her comments on Trump's not even worth impeachment. I mean, I guess we're talking about a matter of degree and, and it really matters. What, what ultimately it comes down to is what are you looking at versus what I'm looking at? But I don't know that I would say this is more a problem on one side versus the other. I think in the end, most people on the left understand the importance of getting Trump out. There will always be what we call defectors, but I don't know that I see it the same way you do. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate the call, Anthony. Great to hear from you.